Okay, this is going to be a tutorial how to easily mount a disc brake uh, here to hoverboard because I have found these nice uh, 140 millimeters uh, that have these uh, five uh, points here. Uh, four millimeter goes in easily. 4.5 should also go. Uh, and, but uh, so M5 screw uh, should go in the pin and you do not have to mount it here because it's very close where it's uh, not flat so it's uh, difficult to, to uh, drill in holes here but uh, very easy to uh, drill the hole there and here because of the holes it's only at two points uh, that you can um, mount it simply here uh, two M6 screws as distance uh, holder then you have about the same level as it touches here and you could already hear uh, take by taking a look here uh, to um, center it very uh, easily uh, or you and uh, finally you um, go here and, and you can here measure the distance to really make it but that's not that important you see only the the distance has to be equal uh, if it's one millimeter uh, not centered that that's not that uh, yeah so now I'm going to drill here the holes. Uh, I don't know, I see, see four millimeters is a bit, so I, I think I will start with 4.5 directly. And yeah, here for these big wheels, I really need a, a, a big distance. That's not that uh, a perfect. And here, because here the disc brakes, that's this nice here, Shimano, uh, very cheap. Uh, it, it goes over the, the hole where the screw will be, so I cannot uh, simply take uh, these ones, but uh, here with uh, that uh, sinking. And, and therefore, you see, I, I intentionally uh, drill uh, this apart uh, because this is a blind rivet. That's at the back side, it's uh, the, the washer integrated. So if I really uh, drill it to five millimeters and uh, this can get apart and and this uh, sinking screw will go uh, right in place and uh, that's uh, needed because you see these, these are uh, one rotation only there's a speed so uh, if you have two motors uh, opposing each other uh, then you should uh, that's the question is it really necessary uh, that you sorry uh, that uh, you see because uh, these are, should go in the rotation so that I guess a brake should be that way and not that way. Uh, and therefore you need to, you see you have to, have to disassemble it anyway to, uh, to, to make it uh, opposite. So if I um, remove here this, this, no, that's a, <laughs> it should be, uh, should be so long this video. If I re remove this then I can, uh, take this apart. I also had this, uh, it might be possible to remove this entirely uh, because here uh, also this is I think eight, uh, eight centimeters diameter uh, and where here is uh, the smartphone hole. I could, you see with the angle grinder, I cut uh, five uh, uh, lines into this uh, aluminium and then the screw couldn't back in and it should also uh, fast, but I may also want to 3D print uh, this to really make it extremely um, parallel. And yeah, here I think that's a 35 millimeter, so it could still uh, put a mount uh, this a motor on a on a steel uh, tube, uh, or you could uh, widen this because this is aluminium. This is not the perfect. There are better ones. And yeah, so this now let's go to the drilling machine. Go with the 4.5 millimeter. Let's see if I can go through. Yes. That went very easily. 
See, I don't know how much space there is in between, so I was careful. And so now let's look at the inside. See, that was So, taken here, so if this is the same as that, yeah, then there's enough space. Uh, uh, there are um, some uh, long nuts, uh, M5 up to 20 centimeters. It could be used as spacers, you see, because then you could drill uh, in these long nuts from the low, so from the inside, uh, which is uh, very nice here to not damage anything, as well as, as from, from the outside to go, you see, from both sides. Uh, that would be, I guess, the easiest way. Uh, that would be 20 centimeters. Uh, that should be enough. Uh, you see, it's not enough here uh, for, for, for this because of the tire. But if you have uh, an eight inch uh, tire, it might already work. But yeah, it, it might really need a lung spacing. Okay, yeah, now let's wind this to M5 and, and then we can already uh, mount it. The stainless steel blind rivet still uh, holds, so I um, might need a, really a big one here uh, to, to remove the, to the top so, so I can get this washer off and, and then I can five washers off so I can uh, swap uh, the side here. Uh, but for now it's okay. Uh, it looks like uh, the disc brake is just here going is here it's a bit overlapping uh, but uh, you do not need here to as you can here uh, see here uh, it has to be mounted uh, somewhere here and, and therefore uh, it, it should there should be no need to, to sink this so far in that it goes underneath it's better to take uh, such a, a screw you see which is yeah, and, and now you can uh, do not need to I can position it uh, so far outside so that it will not touch the screw that's nice so here I found <laughs> uh, from tape the, the, the left over it's not perfect but just for demonstration you see there's a fifth a screw there's no Base, but and yeah it might be nice to have a, a, such a, a, a locking uh, a screw so you do not need to open the the, uh, the motor any longer to dismount it yeah, and and so that here I have it to the outside but I think as I just demonstrated uh, this is still and I see here there's a braking pads uh, then they have still a distance and this distance here can also go for the mount and, and so you see if you have such a, a screw uh, in the inside and maybe also glued in don't know uh, then uh, you can mount and dismount from from the outside and yeah uh, it, it would be better if these screws really are inside the spacer because if you now break then every of these screws would be twisted to the same side and so okay it is not possible because then this would go to the inside and that's the spacer uh, preventing this but it's still uh, you see I, I might see it when I now here turn and so uh, if there's a, a, a tunnel inside uh, this a spacer that's about to say but why I might like to 3d print it it's just it's uh, eight centimeters to, uh, more than eight centimeters so my um, my my resin printer uh, my, uh, cannot print it in one but I could print uh, two halves you see uh, or the old ABS uh, SL uh, uh, deposition uh, printer yeah now let's mount everything together to get a final look so uh, that, that's it 
you see that's why it might be necessary to really uh, mount this uh, uh, when it's closed so the certificate can go in here because here there, there should be some uh, screws that uh, fix the a, a motor and and this tube should uh, of course you have an opening uh, or if you mind you could mount it here but if it have a, an axis with two motors then there should be an opening for the cables to get out uh, uh, but you see yeah that's already the 35 millimeters uh, should be s strong enough. You see a steel uh, tube with, with three, five, four or five millimeters. Or if I put carbon now around it, five millimeter thick of carbon, that would, would really be strong enough because it's it's really quite outside. Uh, sometimes uh, these motors, they, uh, they rotate a bit shaking and that would now really uh, make this disc uh, go uh, far away. So that I cannot test this. Uh, but this depends on the quality of the qual quality of the motor. But I think really that's a very easy way uh, to, and this is a very cheap uh, disc brake and, and here these nice Shimano also quite quite cheap. So uh, yeah, that's a way to go. And you see here with, with, with such a big spacing, I can also uh, use a disc brake on, on a bigger wheel. Okay, bye-bye, see you next time.